Sea waves have ravaged homes of residents of Anyako, Seva, and the Keta municipality. Hundreds of residents have been displaced, while property running into thousands of cities have been destroyed. Anyako, Seva is one of the 36 communities of the Anglo traditional area. It is also called the island city due to its location close to the lagoon. The destruction caused by sea waves is enormous. The community lies below the lagoon and so the constant destruction of sea waves is a headache. The lagoon has destroyed several houses, rendering many people homeless over the years. Several houses are uninhabited due to fear of sea wave attacks. The Dufia of Anyako Seva is worried about the level of destruction caused by sea waves. The major challenge is that when it rains, all the schools are submerged. The community is also cut off from the adjoining ones. This is depressing and we are appealing to the authorities and government to come to our aid before the worst happens. The Anglo Basic School in the community, Seva AME Zion Basic School, is likely to be affected as the lagoon is closer to the compound. Over 250 children will have to stop attending school if nothing is done to stop the ravaging waves. Reverend James Jima is the secretary to the committee responsible for development of the school. <laughs> Once the cloud form and it's about to rain, we have to end classes and allow pupils to go home. This is a major bane to the development of the school. There is a need to reconstruct the school, raising the foundation to prevent the flow of water into the classrooms. We appeal to government and philanthropists to come to our aid. Opinion leaders and elders blame ravaging sea waves on failure to complete the construction of two bridges at Angolan Afia de Nyigba and Haveji Road that have blocked the water from flowing freely into other parts of the Keta Lagoon. Seva is about five kilometers from Anyako, which is having a health post. So we are pleading to, with the government to bring at least a cheap compound to Seva so that this will reduce mortality rate and all that because pregnant women will have to suffer to deliver. Though surrounded by water sources, potable water is a challenge. Only residents who can afford use polytanks to store water. Healthcare is also a problem as residents trek more than two hours on poor routes to access healthcare at Anyaku. Uh, the completion of that bridge is very important to me in the sense that if it is not completed on time, uh, the server community will be eroded or will be submerged in water. The chiefs and people of Anyaku Server appealed to the powers that be to come to their aid.